Hey cousins, welcome back. So as you can tell, this video is pretty old. This was a video from our old single wide before we moved. Um, this was actually in 2021. I was pregnant with Austin at the time, but I'm ready to go ahead and start my 2024 fall decor videos, but I wanted to go ahead and set the mood for y'all. So I am sharing my 2021 through 2023 fall um decorate and clean with me videos um so these are the video the fall decorate videos that i've done since i've been here on youtube so i hope y'all enjoy this video if you're anything like me i love to look back on old photos and especially my old videos just to see my just to see how my decor choices have changed as well as how much my babies have grown up but i hope y'all enjoy this evening's video Sometimes I honestly feel like I am raising little boys instead of girls. This lunchbox was filled with blocks, bird feathers that they found outside while helping their daddy put up a tree stand, and rocks. It's like, tell me your kids are country without telling me your kids are country. But you know what? I joke about it, but honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way.
Now, I normally don't use this many paper towels while cleaning, but every single one of my cleaning rags was in the washer. Feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go
So this basket is full of uniforms from their old school that they used to go to. I plan on selling them all. If y'all follow me on Instagram, then y'all seen where we switched schools this year. And I'm so glad that we did. They've made a ton of new friends already. And it's only been, what, this is week two. And I love it. They love it. They get out earlier. They actually come home with homework. I know that sounds crazy, but we love it. So this is rabbit feed. Um, once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that we got two new rabbits. Um, they were in the house, but I made it clear to Mikkel and the girls when we first got them that them being in the house was only going to be temporary. They were in a cage in the house, but um, I couldn't deal with it. So thankfully, Mikkel built them a little hutch outside this past weekend. So that's where they're at now. This is a real life mess right here. So all I'm doing here is just spraying some Lysol. Um, I like to keep a can by the front door so once the girls get home from school, I can spray the backpacks down.
All right, y'all, so here's decorations. By this time in the day, I had already picked the girls up from school and started dinner, so the kitchen doesn't look as clean as it did earlier. I'm proud of myself I did not go out this year and buy any new Halloween or fall decor Lord knows I wanted to but I had to keep in mind I still have a whole baby nursery to finish and a baby on the way so I need to save whatever money I can right now um all my decor come from Dollar Tree or Walmart from last year or years past to make some um little risers or candle holders like the one i have on my stove i got everything here from hobby lobby whenever their wood was 50 percent off
the first one i done i took outside and spray painted it white and now i'm going in with these furniture repair markers that i found at dollar tree the first color i'm going in with is walnut and then i'm gonna go in with i think it's just black just to make it look a little bit more rustic And here's the finished product and I made two of them for under six bucks so if you're in the market for these little risers or candle holders definitely go to Hobby Lobby and make your own it's a lot cheaper It's a cookie jar, but I'm going to use it to store our tea packets and our emergency packets. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. 
welcome if you're new here. So on this particular day, um, my house was in a right mess, as y'all can tell. Um, instead of starting off with the kitchen, I decided to go ahead and clean my washer. It's something that needed to be done. I try to do this. I honestly should probably do it once a week with how often or how many loads of laundry I do a day. But um, I've been slacking lately, so this is probably first time in about a month I've cleaned it. And it was needing it really bad. Oh, with me working now, Saturday is about the only day I have to like really clean, clean my house the way I want to. Um, but I feel like I don't know. I just haven't had time to clean like I want to. If I'm being completely honest. Um, so you just see me put some dish soap and some bleach in this sink so I can clean these dishes real good.
So for this night, I decided to put some northern beans in the crock pot along with some smoked neck bones. And that's what we had for dinner that night. And it was so good. Um, I think I'm, I've done a short, a YouTube short on how I do my um, beans in the pressure cooker. Um, I'll probably post that. So y'all can probably tell by looking at this clip how neglected my stove is. Um, y'all know I usually like to get out my stove cleaner and scrape it to clean it, but I'm currently out of my cleaner, so I'm definitely going to have to add that to my next grocery order. So I'm honestly thinking about moving this coffee station back to on my countertop only because it's really close to Christmas and y'all know I love to make my kids a hot cocoa bar but um, that's probably something I'm going to be doing in my uh, Christmas decorate with me video. So this is something that I seen on TikTok. Um, I've been doing it to mop my floors and it works. Usually whenever I mop my floors with just fabulous or pound salt, it leaves like a sticky, not a sticky residue, but like a film. Like I don't like the way it feels. So I've been using the OxyClean powder with a little bit of Fabuloso and sometimes I'll even do like a cap of bleach and First of all, it smells amazing, and you'd be amazed at how dirty the water is once you're done. So, I've been doing this ever since. Whenever I mop my floors, I even boil the water just so I, I don't know, boiling the water made me feel like it was extra clean. Especially now, Austin's getting around more. Y'all seen him standing up over there in the background. He's still crawling, not quite yet walking, so I try to make sure the floors are always clean.
with I think in the next few upcoming videos um I want to finish painting my hallway as well as touching up some paint here in the living room and um basically just throughout the house I told y'all I wasn't going to be doing any more like major transformation videos in my home which I don't plan on doing it um I feel like what's the point of dumping money into this house when I'm trying to save to get us into something bigger so as far as me wanting to put that pantry in the kitchen it's not gonna happen by the way do y'all just see how brave Austin's getting just climbing off the couch now And same thing goes for the mop order that I made for the kitchen earlier. I'm doing the same thing for the mop order in my living room. And once I got done cleaning everything, I realized that I hadn't cleaned my sink. So that's just what I'm going to go ahead and do now. y'all just gonna do it for tonight's video i hope y'all found it motivating you get up and tackle whatever you need to get cleaned in your home don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so i'd love to have y'all part of my family i'll see y'all on the next one Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning up our house. Um, I'm also going to be sharing a yummy fall recipe with y'all, which is lasagna soup. I'm not sure if I've cooked it for y'all before on here, but I'll be sharing that recipe. Um, also, while I was cleaning and filming today's video... Um, my Amazon stools finally come in after they got lost. 
They were supposed to be here last week, but got lost. But finally, they come in today that I was filming this, so I was able to put them together. So that is what today's video is going to consist of. Also, if you've been wondering where I've been, we've been fighting a nasty, nasty cold. Um, one of the kids come home from school sick, and then next thing you know, it ran havoc all through our house. So I'm starting to finally feel better. I still got a little cough, but we're getting there. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get this cleaning done. So this has been something I've been doing ever since we've been in our new house is anytime I fry any type of food I like to take out the burner covers and just give them a nice wash just get all the grease off I feel like it'll keep the fried smell out of my house y'all know if you've been here a while I do not like frying food in my house just because the smell it leaves afterwards even if I got the vent fan on there's still that fried smell in the house and I just can't stand it so like I said anytime I fry any food I'll take these um covers off of my burners and I'll just give them a wash I don't even know what they're called covers I don't even know what they're the right name for them is but i like to scrub them down give them a good wash and make sure i get all the grease off of them so i just got done cooking breakfast and that consisted of some bacon and eggs so i wanted to wash these i also like to um wipe down the um the vent fan over the stove you know grease pops up on that and gets in there as well So this island is just a catch-all for any and all things comment down below if your island is the same so y'all probably noticed the cake decorating stuff right there on the island so i decided now that we pretty much have settled into our new house it's time for me to get back into baking and doing that side hustle again um i briefly quit because all my stuff was packed up so if you're new here, you didn't know, I do bake cakes on the side. It's something that I really do enjoy doing. But yeah, I have my first cake order this weekend. So that's exciting. It's a 75th birthday cake and it's Native American theme. It's going to have a dream catcher on it as well as a dozen of cupcakes. So once I get that order done, I will share a picture with y'all. So make sure to be checking out my community tab. I could sit around and wait all day
So I had been waiting on these bar stools for two weeks. Um, they ended up getting lost somehow, so we had to reorder them. So finally, they made it here, y'all. Oh, uh, and just just wait till you see them. They're so pretty. So my last video, I was telling y'all how I want to redo this vanity. It's still going to happen. I'm just not sure what look I want to go with.
would last forever Take me back to when we were kids And didn't care if we were acting stupid Cause all we had was eyes If I close my eyes and think about us I can see the person I know I should be Cause honestly I don't have no time to waste I'm trying to come back to you Because now I see We were meant to be Where are you now? Heard you live far away But just tell me where And I'll come see ya So while I was filming this part, Mikhail ended up calling me. So I just made my bed up off camera. And I'm just going to give y'all an overview of how nice and tidy the house looks.
Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend, cause you find the way you are. I wanna know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. We lying in my arms. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken. So just stay for a little while. So just stay for a little while. So if you're wondering about these bar stools, I'll have them linked in the um description down below. Of course, it won't be an affiliate link. I honestly couldn't get over how easy and simple they were to put together. The cushions on them are super, super thick, and they fit perfectly in my kitchen and go with my decor. So, of course, I went with cow print. So, if I ever do get tired of the cow print look, which I doubt I will, I can always order some cushion covers to go with these. I happened to see some on Amazon that was turquoise, so that would match my house as well. So we went with four of these bar stools. And I think whenever we got them, it was like 220 for four of them, but the price has since gone down. So like I said, if you're interested in them, check the description box down below. It just took some time Now I just hope that you stay for a little while You fix what's broke Now it's time to cook And we're gonna be doing lasagna soup So I told y'all at the beginning of the video Me and the crew just got down and out with a very nasty cold So I was wanting some comfort food this night And um, it's just some lasagna soup And I'll have the recipe down in the description box So if you're interested in it, just check it out so I'm just starting off by browning some hamburger meat. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to the So, after I browned off my hamburger meat, instead of draining it, I just took a paper towel and put it in the pot to soak up all the grease, and that worked pretty well. i do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign a sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more time 
talking to you at? Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me. I'm adding two boxes of beef broth. Italian seasoning, I did not measure, just eyeballing it over here. Say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with a heaping amount of minced garlic. Honestly, it was about two or three tablespoons full. You push me, then you pull me back in. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. And now I'm going in with some crushed and diced tomatoes. I did buy some tomato paste, but I didn't even use it. I'm adding in the onion that y'all just seen me chop up. Now I'm adding in my cottage cheese, which honestly, I'll pretty much use this whole container of cottage cheese. And once that's added in, I'm gonna give it a stir, put the lid back on it and let it come up to a bowl. And now that it's boiling very carefully, I'm just gonna break up my lasagna noodles and put them into the pot.
Now, I did bake some garlic bread to go with ours just so you can soak up some of that juice. Now, after you let it cook with the noodles for about 20 minutes, it is ready to be served. So just keep in mind when you make this soup, the longer you leave it out on the stove, the noodles are going to soak up all of that juice, so it's going to be less soupy. It's going to end up looking more like a deconstructed lasagna, if you will. So I'm gonna top ours with some shredded Parmesan cheese as well as some crispy fried onions just to add a little crunch to it. So if you're not a fan of fried onions but you still want the crunch factor, you can also add in some croutons. Better, but I'll die again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am, that's why you have and there you go. This is such an easy fall recipe that I'm sure your family will enjoy. Just look at that cheese pour. Just look at that. Um, but yeah, if y'all try this recipe, let me know down below how you like it. So that's going to be it for this evening's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see y'all in the next one. Yeah.